join kids hat family hi phil hi tofu hello tia hello phil tofu why don't you take phil to your room and play i'll bring you some tasty snacks in a while uh yes phil let's go to my room and play Oh, Tofu, you've got so many toys. Can we play? Ah, uh, yes. I thought we'll go out and play football instead. We can play football too. I just want to play with your toys for a while. Mm, okay. You can play with my toys. Yay, look at the car. It's so beautiful. Is it a remote controlled car? Yes, it's a remote controlled car. My grandma gave it to me on my birthday. Can I play with it? Oh no. It doesn't have a battery. N don't touch it. Mm, okay. But Tofu, this is not fair. I will not talk to you. Why are you not letting me play with your toys? You are my friend. Phil, please, don't touch my toys. I don't like sharing my toys. Okay, Tofu, so I'm going home. This is not what friends do. My mother told me good friends always share. You are not a good friend. Bye Tofu. Mm. Bye Phil. Wait Phil. Don't be upset. I will talk to Tofu. He is a very good boy. Mm, okay Tia. Tofu, say sorry to Phil and let him play with your toys. But Tia These are my toys. He should play with his own toys. Tofu, do you remember when you went to Phil's birthday party? He let all of his friends play with his new toys. You played with his toys too, and Phil was so happy sharing his toys with everyone. Uh, yes, I remember. Tofu, sharing is not just about giving back when someone gives you. It's about sharing to show that you care for them. no matter what you should always be kind to everybody you are right tia i'm sorry phil i realize my mistake you can play with my toys really thank you so much tofu thank you tia you welcome phil Tofu, wake up. It's time to go to school. But Tia, the school bus arrives at 8 a.m. Tofu, don't you remember? You have to go to a school picnic today. The school bus will arrive a little early today for that. School picnic. Oh, yes. I forgot about it. But can I sleep for 5 minutes more, Tia, please? You will miss the bus, Tofu. Come on, get up. Okay. Tofu please hurry up. You're wasting your time. You will not be able to make it to the school picnic otherwise. I still have half an hour to catch the bus, Tia. Tofu time management is very important to achieve things in life. Now what does that mean, Tia? I'll tell you a quick story as you get ready. Okay. Time is precious. Once upon a time, a boy named Oliver went for a hiking trip with a group of other people. Oliver wasted a lot of time and hence he missed a lot of things always. Boys, let's go. Or we'll miss the beautiful sunset at the top of the mountain. Yes, yes sir, let's go. Ah, uh, coach, I need some time to get ready. You should have been ready by now, Oliver. Come back fast. We're waiting for you. Uh, yes sir Ah uh, Oliver please hurry up you're wasting your time and everybody else's time too we can't wait for you anymore I'm here let's go everybody is climbing the mountain while Oliver is lagging behind as he's wasting his time Where is Oliver I can't see him 
coach he is resting there Oliver hurry up Oliver gets up and walks towards the group slowly Everybody starts moving too as they are assured Oliver is behind them As everybody is climbing the mountain Oliver loses track of the group again because he was wasting his time He starts panicking as he was lost He somehow finds his way and reaches the top of the mountain. But when he reaches, the sun had already set and everybody was walking down the mountain. Everybody else looked so happy as they had watched such a beautiful sunset, but Oliver starts crying as he missed it. Time is precious. It waits for no one. Once you start managing your time correctly, you will achieve a lot of beautiful things in life. That was a great story, Tia. I will manage my time and make it to the picnic. Yes, Tofu. Now come fast or you will miss your school bus. Oh dear, what a mess you have made. Hi Tia, did you get me some chips and chocolates? No tofu, you're eating a lot of junk food these days. But Tia, I don't like eating vegetables and fruits. I love eating pizzas, burgers, fries, chips, cakes. <sighs> I cook such healthy food for you every day. But look at you eating junk food all the time. It's so harmful for the body and your health. Mm, yeah. Tofu, clean this mess and complete your homework. I will, I will, Tia. Don't worry. <coughs> Tofu, is everything all right? No, Tia. My stomach hurts so much. I feel sick. Oh, Tofu, I told you not to eat all that junk food that you've been eating since so many days. I'm sorry, Tia. But what should I do now? Don't be sorry to me. Be sorry to yourself that you're not treating your body well. Tia, but how did I feel sick because of food? You were eating unhealthy food. You haven't even been playing outside these days. Good food and exercise are so important for your body. Remember, what you eat is what you become. What does that mean, Tia? Healthy eating habits. Once upon a time, there lived two siblings who loved eating junk food every day. They refused the healthy meals that their mother cooked for them. Oh dear, do you know that unhealthy food can affect your health? Joe, you will not be able to play football so well, and Jack, you will not be able to become a good runner if you keep eating all of this junk food. But mom, this tastes so good. I cannot eat these fruits and vegetables all the time. I will eat healthy food. I want to become a great runner. Yes, Jack. Eat healthy and you will see the difference. Joe, you too. Joe, come here. I'm sorry, but I cannot have you on the team. You are not able to play like others. But coach, I want to be on the team. I'm sorry, Joe. You can try next time. Jack, you have become so good at running. I'm sure you will take away all the medals this time. Thank you, coach. Tia, I will eat healthy food from today. I want to be like Jack. Yes tofu eat healthy food and exercise and you will see the difference in your health
Good Habits, Bad Habits. Hi, Tia. I'm home. Hi, Tofu. You know, Tia, I'm so tired today. We played hockey at school. You want some water, Tofu? Yes, please, Tia. <coughs> tofu, is this where you keep the glass? Uh, I'm sorry, Tia, I didn't notice. I'm going to my room to change. Okay, lunch is ready. Come to the dining room in half an hour. Alright, Tia. Here, we have some beans for you. Thanks, Tia. So, how was school today? It was good, but I feel a little tired after the hockey match. Okay, why don't you take a nap for an hour? Yes, you are right, Tia. I think I should take a nap now. Tofu, please keep your plate in the kitchen. <sighs> I'm very sleepy, Tia. I'll see you after an hour. What's wrong with this boy? Tofu, wake up! Let me sleep for five minutes more, dear. Okay, enough. I will teach him a lesson now. Oh my God, dear! What have you done to the house? What a mess! Tia, please stop. What are you doing? Tia! Yes, Tofu. What is it? Tia, will you stop doing this? What's wrong with you? You are doing the same thing too. Look at your room. It's an absolute mess. Uh, I'm sorry. I did not realize that it looked so unpleasant until I saw your belongings all over the place. It looks so messy and unorganized. I will keep my things in place now. That's what I was trying to teach you, Tofu. One bad habit often spoils a dozen good ones. Learn to stay organized and you yourself will feel good. Apart from that, you can adopt small good habits like holding the door open for someone, sneezing with your mouth covered, washing your hands before eating and always keeping track of time. Because once you catch hold of a bad habit, it develops deeper. I get it now, Tia. I will take care of all the things that you just told me. Thank you for making me understand this. Tia, this plant looks beautiful. What is it called? It's a peace lily. It blooms into beautiful white flowers. Wow! Can we buy this? Of course, Tofu. We can buy this. Let's go home now. I think we have bought enough plants. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. These plants look so beautiful. Yes, they look amazing. But Tofu, do you know, we need to feed these plants like we feed ourselves with food and water to grow and stay healthy? Hmm, how can we feed plants, Tia? Just like we need food and water for our growth, plants need it too to survive. We must regularly water the plants and keep them in sunlight. But remember, too much water and sunlight exposure can kill the plants too. Okay, Tia, I will keep that in mind. But can you explain me more about how to take care of plants? Sure, Tofu. Let me tell you a story. Taking care of plants 
Once upon a time, there lived two neighbors who were very fond of plants. One of them watered his plants regularly and the other one didn't. Whoa! The breeze is so swift, I am loving it. Oh God, no! I am afraid. I might break my stems. I feel so weak and hungry. Why are you hungry? Doesn't your owner feed you? I'm afraid not. I feel I might break down very soon. Whee! I love the warm sun. You are so lucky to have an owner who takes care of you. Look at me. I fear I might not live for long. My owner doesn't take care of me at all. The unhealthy plant withers day by day while the healthy plant blooms into a beautiful shrub. The happy plant's owner watered it regularly, gave it sunlight and cleaned it too. On the other hand, the withering plant's owner neglects it and forgets to feed it. Hence, it dies. Tia, this is so sad. There must be so many people who forget to take care of plants in such a busy life. You're right, Tofu. Plants help us survive and we are the ones not taking care of them. I'm afraid there might be a day when there won't be any greenery around. And it's important to not only water the plants in your garden, but in public places too, where you might feel the plants are neglected. Yes, Tia, I will take care of it. From tomorrow, I will water the plants every single day. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.